Good afternoon, I'm Federica D'Ambrosio. We are now going to review the account of Darwin. We are actually now doing the second review. I'm actually doing the second review for Darwin because I reviewed his account when he first hit his 10% target on the 21st of September and he now hit the second target just on the 14th of uh, October. So Darwin, very, very well done. I remember it took you roughly one month um, to hit your first 10% target and now it took you even less to hit the second target. So congratulations and very, very well done. Now let's have a look at the general statistics because uh, of course this is considering the entire period he has been trading with us. He joined our funded trader program on the 20th of August and uh, we can see an average daily return of 0.33%, which is very good. A monthly return of 10%, 10.12% actually and a drawdown of 7.15 percent and i believe he actually kept this uh, drawdown level since he um he first started actually because yes from his equity line we can see the um the drawback that he had on the 14th of september that basically um, brought his account to a minus 5.18 percent and we can see how from that point onwards um his uh, equity line is actually very very nicely upward sloping okay let's have a look at the advanced statistics um, altogether between the two accounts he took 218 trades with a profitability rate of 46 percent i believe if i'm not wrong um it was slightly higher his profitability rate but let's have a look also at his average win and loss on average he gained 23 pips um, and in dollar we are uh, about 150 dollars while his average loss is around 14 pips with the max with on average 92 dollars as a loss his best trade um, in terms of dollar done on October the 1st, $1,069. His worst trade on October the 6th, he lost $289. So in terms of dollars, his best and worst trade were done on the second account. While pipwise, his best trade on October the 1st, so still here, the, the second account, he gained 112 pips. His worst trade pipwise, September the 3rd, minus 46. And this, I think, yeah, this belongs basically to the first account, the 15k account. Now, uh, let's have a look at the summary. I remember that Darwin um, had a favorite pair, the pound yen. Let's see if it's uh, still the same. And yes, definitely. We can see 205 um, positions over the 218 that he took were done basically on the pound yen. Um, that basically gave him a profit of 3,542 dollars um, very well done so yeah we can see also some other good positions here a few trades on the euro euro dollar gain he gained 300 uh, um, 309 dollars so on the euro yen again only one position he gained 339 dollars from the negative side we can see only here four position for losing position on the uh, not for losing position sorry but accumulative of four position that basically led him into a loss of just $82 on this pair on the euro on the dollar yen sorry let's have a look at the history uh, he joined here oops he joined here on the 20th of August we can see he was uh, going yes 0.5 and yes also from his history his account history we can see that basically he only traded the pound yen and he went uh, with the full lot available for him here we can see on the 21st of September when he first hit his first 10% target and uh, 
and yet here when he hit his uh, second target uh, on the 14th of uh, of October and uh, yes he's still trading at the moment and even if we should not look at what he's doing right now we can see that he still prefer um, the pound yen as a pair okay very well done so from the monthly analytics so we can see a profit of one again monthly gain sorry a 1.24 percent 27% in August 7.33 percent in September and 10.73 percent in October October. so very very well done we can see that is improving especially in terms of time that he needs to hit his target let's have a look at the average length of his trade two hours and 19 minutes on average let's have a look at the duration scatter plot so at the maximum he held he held a position for 18 hours and 21 minutes and it was a winning position the majority of his trade are below the four hours we have a few of them held for up to nine hours but then we can see something very very important here then from nine hours onwards the only position that he held were only the positive position only his positive trades very well done, Darwin. I really look forward to do the third review for your account now.